Welcome everyone to the exercise number 6b which is called classifying features manually and we will do that on the um, on the example of the topography layer or map in our African atlas which is part of the of this uh, third uh, third section called displaying data and as you may still know from the from the exercise number 5d I think it was um, we have created this um, map and we have used a color scheme to represent heights in Ethiopia around um, yeah I think the Kilimanjaro so we'll go um, now we will go into the data view once more and as you can see here there's uh, well what is the purpose of this is we would like to create a um, manual um, classifications classification scheme to highlight um, different values for that. So um, as you can see, there's uh, an area in in um, uh, this eastern part of uh, uh, in Ethiopia where the height is below zero. So um, especially in this area, if you would like to, if you like to get an idea about that, just highlight it. Don't use topmost layer, but maybe the elevation layer once again highlight it and you will get the pixel value of minus 82 representing a height of about minus 82 meter below sea level so what we will do we will use the known classification possibilities to classify um, the range of values and um, as you can see here we have also the classification method given by natural break, breaks equal interval defined interval or whatever and what we will do we would like to highlight this areas where the height is below zero meters or below below sea level um, with a special color but first of all uh, I would like to uh, leave the path of the of this book and um, well they are using they're using natural breaks I think um, to classify the height I won't use that um, I will use equal intervals and in this I will use so oh no well let's stick with uh, defined intervals and we will go with intervals of 1000 so this is now the case uh, so there are areas with 1000 we have seven classes you can s go further by using 500 meters maybe to, uh, to represent your heights and we will uh, go with that color scheme we will invert the colors or we will flip the colors and just press OK in the first uh, in the first part. So we'll zoom to the layer. Now the heights are given by um, um, by these colors ranging from dark brown to lower green and I have to make sure that we will see everything. Because in the moment it's very, oh, I think we have just a, just uh, the transparency is set to 70% in that. So we'll go with 0% uh, to get a better idea. So there's this one class containing the values of minus 169 up to 0. And what we will do, we will um, give it the color of Mars red. Now, this is the possibility to adjust uh, the color scheme by RGB, HSV, or CMYK um, color composition. But we will go there, Just click on symbology, and check the symbol and adjust the color to Mars red. Just click on OK. And there you have the areas that are below uh, sea level. So you can go ahead what I will do now is I will use the hill shade above it set the display once again to transparency 70% and now I have a really good representation 
of height values and I will get an idea about where are the slopes and what is their aspect. And you can see that there are areas in Eritrea and Ethiopia that are below zero meters. Well, there's one more thing. Uh, the values here are in a very bad condition. So let's go back to the uh, properties, symbology tab, and check the f uh, the formation or the format. So we have uh, numeric values. We will set the number of decimal places to zero because we don't need any uh, any, I don't know, one nanometer or something like that and we will use uh, the thousand operators and the pad with zeros. Just click on OK once more. There you have it now. These are fine meter intervals. Click on OK and the interpretation and uh, therefore in the end the map legend will look quite good. Thank you very much.